Well, these are serious charges and uh, they can't be ignored. Do you think it's high crimes and misdemeanors? I wouldn't go that far uh, just yet. So. Do you, do you think this opens up the president to being indicted while sitting in office? It's never been done before. No, I don't, because I don't think he can be indicted while sitting in office. But we'll just have to see where this all works out. I've been here 11 and a half years, and uh, this is, I don't think I've witnessed anything like um, I've witnessed over the last year and a half. Probably the American people haven't uh, in modern times. But again, I've got faith in the judicial system and this will work its way out. I'm sure there's going to be other revelations that come up and, and uh, I think we'll just let the process work. Well, all we really know for sure is that there was a plea agreement mm -hmm. and he's pled guilty mm -hmm. and uh, everything else is speculation at this point. Almost every week since the president was sworn in, there is a new allegation or uh, unveiling of uh, corruption inside the administration. So I think we're beyond the tip of the iceberg. We're in the middle of the, I mean, we're in the middle of the iceberg uh, right now, given how many people so close to the president uh, are on their way to jail. Uh, and I just don't think that engaging in speculation is, is the way to go. And, and certainly I think impeachment talk is something that is um, not something that we should be engaging in right now. We should talk about all the remedies, every single remedy including indictment of the president, should be on the table. The president can be indicted, even if the trial is postponed until after the election. Indictment is not only legal, but in my view, mandatory under the Constitution if there has been the kind of criminality that seems to have been committed by the president of the United States.